great, everyone. Let's listen to the lightning talks. There's 10 of them, just a minute, a uh, minute long each. Okay. Hi, I'm Jay Feldes from uh, Bitsy. Uh, we are developing a, uh, a little thing we call a Bit, uh, Bitcoin blockchain box. <laughs> Um, it's a little server, has uh, a dual core ARM processor, uh, gigabyte of RAM, uh, 160 gig hard drive, and it, it, we have them hosted and running uh, full Bitcoin blockchain nodes, so that could be useful if either you just want to run a node to support the network or if you've got an application that can build on that. It can run pretty much any other type of blockchain node that we're aware of, so it can run Namecoin, it could run a DNS server on Namecoin, There's a lot of potential uses for it. So uh, it will sell for about $99. We've got units available now for people who want to develop on it. Uh, we're interested in people who want to, they might see a good opportunity to develop a low cost product that could, that could go on this hardware. All right, bitseed.org, thank you. For the record, <laughs> Ghash only has like 20% hashing power right now. Um, <laughs> my name is John Light. I work with a nonprofit called the OK Turtles Foundation, and our mission is supporting beneficial decentralized technologies. We have uh, some educational materials on our website, okturtles.org, and we're also working on a few open source projects that utilize blockchain technology. We have DNS Chain which is disintermediating and replacing certificate authorities with the blockchain. We have blockchain ID, which is basically a decentralized replacement for like Facebook login, OAuth, and systems like that. And uh, the OKTurtles browser extension, which uses DNS chain to enable end-to-end, -end, man in the middle proof communications across pretty much any website. It's like just a cool little chat application that works in the browser. Uh, you can learn more about everything we're working on, okturtles.org. Okay, Thomas? Yep. So I'm Thomas, I'm a co-founder of Ledger Wallet. So at Ledger we're basically bringing uh, the smart card security standard to the Bitcoin world. So smart cards have been great to secure uh, secrets, to secure credit card transactions for many years, except in the US. And we're basically bringing that uh, level of security to the Bitcoin world. So our first product is the Ledger Wallet Nano. So it's a hardware wallet based on physical secure elements. So it's a secure microcontroller. So this one is a USB form factor that you just plug in the USB port. And on the browser, you just have public information. And everything that is private, everything de dealing with the C derivation of C signature of the transaction is made on the secure element. So we just got funded uh, last week and we've got a nice product roadmap with a mobile phone integration and we're also pushing some white label integration for third party wallets. So if you're just interested in, uh, as an end user, as a developer, just ping me and I'll be glad to talk to you. Thanks. Hi everyone, I'm Ruben Brahmanathan. I'm a Bitcoin lawyer from Sydney, Australia. Um, my firm, Adroit Lawyers, works with a bunch of Bitcoin companies around Australia. We've also been involved with lobbying the government in Australia at a number of levels to try and get some regulatory clarity, certainty, uh, get things right. Um, I also host the Sydney Bitcoin Meetup. I'm just visiting here and I've um, uh, just come to check it out, so thank you for having me. Um, it's an interesting time in Bitcoin in Australia. Uh, we have a Senate inquiry ongoing. The results will be released next month. So it's an interesting perspective um, on a Bitcoin ecosystem. So watch this space and um, come say hi if you'd like to learn anything about Australia uh, and Bitcoin in Australia. Thanks. What's your offer? I joined lawyers. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Taylor from BlockTech. Alexandria is a new set of protocols that defines a relationship between a number of distributed networks. Each are used to, the various, uh, to provide various features for the front-end services. The network will be able to stream HD video and lossless FLAC audio, and when a piece of media is especially popular, rather than needing to buffer, speeds will actually be bolstered. For artists, publishing and distribution fees will be minimal or non-existent. Artists will be able to control how they choose to distribute their content and how they wish to monetize it. 
Options will range from free with tips uh, to pay per stream and everything in between. We are constantly working to add new media types to the content submission mechanism and implementing new cutting edge distributed networking technologies. Alexandria currently supports movies, music, videos, podcasts, books, 3D principles, and recipes. In the same way that Bitcoin allows people to be their own banks, Alexandria allows you to be your own publisher. Find out more at blocktech.com. Hey guys, I'm Eric with BitPay, um, and I'm here to talk to you about open source and Bitcore. Uh, over the past few months, we've really been putting a lot of energy into polishing up this open source framework that we built called Bitcore. Uh, it is an isomorphic JavaScript library, it, meaning that if you write your code, it will run in a browser, it will run on a server, it will run everywhere that JavaScript runs. It is fast, it passes all of the tests that Bitcoin Core tests, uh, the, the Bitcoin Core has it, and we've also built a plugin architecture. Uh, in particular, the one I'm most excited about is Bitcore Channel. This is a full end-to-end -end implementation of Bitcoin payment channels, which if you're not familiar with, are a way of aggregating large amounts, high volumes of very small value transactions, and only broadcasting one onto the network. We're really excited about seeing uh, APIs monetizing through this, charging per API call, charging per kilobyte of data. So that's bitcore.io. Looking forward to see what you guys build. Hello, everyone. My name is Paul Poy. I'm co-founder of Airbits, and we have launched an iOS and Android mobile wallet with a really core focus on delivering an open source solution with a decentralized wallet that's as familiar and easy to use as mobile banking. Uh, we've already launched it. What we're looking for is actually anyone who's interested in doing a user experience test with us. So we're here being accelerated through plug and play in Sunnyvale, but want to connect with anyone that wants maybe an exchange of about 100 millibits to spend maybe half an hour to 60 minutes with us and give us feedback on the product both on iOS and Android. And you can already download it today and give it a try and give us some feedback. We'd love to sit down in more detail with, them, with some people that really want a wallet that, once again, is familiar and, familiar and easy to use once Bitcoin really does become a good portion of our economy. So come reach out, look for this shirt, there's four of us on our team, and we'd love to chat. Thanks. Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Andre. During the last five years, I've been involved in approximately 10 Bitcoin companies and currently my product is about, uh, it's a white label solution for people who would like to build some uh, custom type of asset like currency licenses or shares or whatever on top of blockchain or blockstream or application like this. So it's a white label solution for issuances of custom properties on top of the blockchain. Talk to me. Hi guys, I didn't expect to speak, so I'm kind of winging it. Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Max. I'm representing the Bitcoin Association at Berkeley. Uh, I have two uh, club members with me here. Uh, last November, we put on something called the Baybit Hack, which was the first ever collegiate Bitcoin hackathon. We had a number of sponsors there. Um, so we're just now getting laying down the groundwork for the next Baybit Hack, which is probably going to be sometime very early May or late April. So if you're interested in sponsoring and getting access to developers to hack on your service or uh, for some recruitment opportunities, talk to me and I'll definitely hook you up. All right, or talk to Kelly for me. is one of the biggest exchange and ATM and prepaid Bitcoin card service from South Korea. We started our service only about a year ago. Uh, we're a team of 16 people. Uh, we're all from Cisco Systems, former Cisco Systems employees in Korea. Uh, 
Uh, I came here today to experience Meetup here. Uh, there are only about 20 people gathering in Seoul Big Point Meetup, which is held week on a weekly basis. Uh, I represent CoinPlug, and I'm here to look for a company who is interested in doing remittance service in Korean one to US dollars. So if you guys have any suggestions, we also have all sorts of open API for iOS, Android, and prepaid uh, Bitcoin car service. And we have trouble expanding Bitcoin industry within Korea, so we took another turn. Instead of doing B2C, we, side, we decided to go B2B. So we are working with one of the biggest ATM companies in the country to turn 7,000 ATMs into Bitcoin ATMs throughout the entire country. Thank you.